Hi there, and welcome to our training series. I'm Nick, one of the team members here at my CNA Jobs. Today's training session is to help CNAs and caregivers learn how to assist a resident or loved one with a bedpan. This is a common responsibility for any patient who is bedbound. Knowing this skill is essential, even if your current client doesn't use a bedpan. It's a baseline skill that should be known so you can be prepared for any situation. Understanding how to best use a bedpan will ensure your client or patient has the best experience by preventing discomfort, embarrassment, and unwanted messes. So, let's dive in. Today we're going to talk about an introduction to using a bedpan in general, the best sanitation techniques, the supplies you'll need, how to prepare your setting, and we'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial. Introduction and Sanitizing To get things started, Proper sanitation is required to prevent the spread of germs. Before introducing yourself to your patients, wash your hands thoroughly. Anytime you're leaving the room, you must wash hands before leaving, and also hand the resident the call light for safety purposes if you have one. The supplies you'll need. Gather your supplies neatly, and as a reminder, wash your hands when you leave the room for the supplies. You'll need the following. A protective barrier to place supplies on and to place under the patient. Two sets of gloves paper towels and toilet paper, a blanket, and the bedpan. Preparing your setting. Make sure the resident is granted privacy by either closing the blinds or curtains, lock the bed wheels for safety, and raise the bed to your work level to avoid hurting your own back. Step-by-step -step tutorial. Step one is to wash your hands. Remember, it's essential to prevent the spread of germs. Then, when arriving to the room, introduce yourself. It's important because getting consent from the resident will help them feel more comfortable and compliant. Begin by introducing yourself. You can say something like, Hi, I'm Nick. Is it okay if I come in? Check the rest pad and let the resident know that you are there to help them with the bedpan. Then, wash your hands before leaving the room. Come back and neatly spread the supplies in the order of use. First the protective barriers, then the blanket, followed by your two sets of gloves, then the paper towels, the toilet paper, and finally the bedpan. As mentioned, prepare your setting. Ensure privacy by closing the curtains, and ensure safety by locking the wheels on the bed and adjusting the bed to your height to protect yourself. Next, make the patient feel comfortable and promote independence. You can achieve this by allowing them to help you put on the bath sheet to keep their bed sheets clean and sliding those down to the foot of the bed. Assist moving the patient closer to you in all three sections of the body the head and shoulders, the midsection, and the legs. Ask the patient to cross their arms and legs. Let the patient know that at the count of three, you will be flipping them over to their side. They are able to hold onto the railing for support and ensure they remain covered up. Then, put your first set of gloves on. Tuck the protective barrier under her in the midsection area. Grab the bedpan and remember to have the flatter side up top to go against her back and the rear area will be placed closer to the crotch area. You can either rest the bedpan on the bed and have the patient roll onto it, or by placing the bedpan on her back first and then holding it against them as they roll onto the bedpan. You can now remove the gloves. Following the bedpan placement, raise the bed so the patient is in a sitting position. Raise it to about a 30 to 45 degree angle. You can now give the patient the call light so they can have privacy while using the bedpan and let them know to press on it when they are done. Also to promote independence, let them know you will slide the side table with tissues for them, in case they are able to wipe themselves. Let them know you will be back in five minutes or when they press the call light. Wash your hands and leave the room. Now, after some time has passed, knock on the door and let the patient know you're back. Ask whether they were able to wipe themselves. You can set two paper towels aside the bedpan first either on a nearby chair or counter. Then, if they weren't able to wipe themselves, get three wet tissues to wipe your patient and two extra dry tissues to dry up. Put on your second set of gloves and lower the bed back to your work height. Let the patient know they will be rolling up to their left side again. This time around, you must use your right hand to hold down the bedpan to prevent it from tipping over while rolling the patient. Count to three again to roll her and ensure she is still covered by her blankets. Put a paper towel on the bedpan and place on the paper towels left for placement. It is important not to let the waste get exposed. Next, let the patient know you will be using wet tissues to wipe them. 
Get one tissue and wipe the butt cheek front to back. Dispose of the tissue either with a plastic bag or in the trash. Use the other wet tissue to wipe the butt cheek from front to back again and repeat with a third to clean right down the middle, front to back. With the extra, go right down the middle again and finally use the last dry tissue to pat dry front to back again. Remove the protective barrier now. You can remove your gloves and sanitize your hands again and help the patient back to front. Now, give the patient the call light while you let them know that you are going to go dispose of the items. With your gloves, proceed to gather supplies that will be disposed of. Now take all the paper towels and the tissues to the toilet and observe waste for any abnormalities and dump into the toilet. Remove your gloves and wash your hands again. The last step will be to proceed back into the room and have the patient assist putting the blankets back on and removing the bath sheet and place in the linen bowl. Finally, get the patient comfortable and ask if there is anything else they would like you to do. Give the patient their call light, double check that the wheels of the bed are locked, and center your patient. Say goodbye and sanitize your hands, then leave the room. Well, that's it folks. I hope this was helpful to teach you a few best practices on how you can help your residents use a bedpan. If you like what you saw here today, then there are more training videos and free resources available at mycnajobs.com.